Did you know that octopus has blue blood? And lizards have green blood? But humans, in some rare cases humans also have green blood. It's a rare medical condition known as sulfhemoglobinemia. When a sulfur atom gets incorporated into the hemoglobin protein in blood, it makes the hemoglobin incapable of carrying oxygen and leads to lower oxygen levels and a bluish tinge to their skin. It is caused by excessive exposure to sulfur-containing compounds, like sulfa medications, nitrate fertilizer, or the overconsumption of nitrogenous vegetables like spinach, usually only in infants. But don't worry. First, it takes huge amounts of these compounds to cause sulfhemoglobinemia, so you aren't risking anything by taking your prescribed medications. And second, treatment of sulfhemoglobinemia is simple. Avoid any root cause and just wait. Red blood cells have a natural lifespan of about 100 days, after which they break down and their components are recycled. Therefore, after about three months, any red blood cells containing sulfhemoglobin will be recycled into proper red blood cells, and any non-reddish color of the blood will disappear. So, that's it. For more videos like this hit that subscribe button. See you soon.